Okay, hey guys, before we start this video on how to downgrade your iPhone, check out these two new latest videos. They'll be gone in a few seconds, so check them out. Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to downgrade from your iPhone 3.1.3 new boot wrong back down to your old iPhone firmware which has the 3.1.2 old boot ROM, so you can go back to your jailbreak and everything. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Notepad, and you're gonna go to, uh, you need to go to File, Open. I want you to go to My Computer, Drive C, Windows, find your System32. This also works on Vista or Windows 7. I'm just using Windows XP because that's what I have. So then, now I want you to go to Drivers, go to your ETC, and you won't see anything but just change your file type to all just open up post and I'm gonna have a little code in the description over here that I want you to paste into here the code for right now let me just check what it is your code would be 74.208.10.249 once you put spacebar gs.apple.com and just Go to file save, don't press save as, just press save. Now what this code is going to do is when you open iTunes, it'll basically, when whenever you're sending all your stuff, whenever you're sending your firmware for iTunes to check if it's the right firmware, because now it checks, see if you're doing 3.1.3 and if it sees that you're not doing 3.1.3, it'll reject you. So this, was, this code is basically going to lie to iTunes and tell them that you're using 3.1.2 even though it'll tell them you're using 3.1.3 even though you're not using it so basically it'll make it easy for you to restore so I want you to open iTunes connect your iPhone and go to restore go to for Mac users you have to press uh, sh uh, option key and click restore for all you PC users you're gonna have to press option restore so uh, shift restore so then what I want you to do is just find your 3.1.2 firmware and you have to restore twice, not once, but twice. And then then you're ready to go. You're, you're downgraded back to the old firmware and it should be fine. So this is up for all you 3GS users that are stuck on the new boot ROM. Okay, next up I'll show you guys I'll show you guys how to jailbreak it in my next video. Stay tuned. Bye. Make sure to subscribe.